These tragedies destroyed Tony Dow before trying to hide the secret. Tony Dow was born Tony Lee Dow on April 13, 1945, in Topanga, California. Growing up in a household steeped in show business, Dow was immersed in a world of creativity and performance from a young age. His father, a designer, likely instilled in him an appreciation for aesthetics and craftsmanship, while his mother, an actress, introduced him to the magic of storytelling and character portrayal. Their combined influence undoubtedly laid the foundation for Dow's future career in the entertainment industry. Surrounded by parents who understood the demands and rewards of show business, Dow had a unique perspective on the industry that would serve him well in the years to come. The rich tapestry of Hollywood history and culture that surrounded Dow during his upbringing provided him with a wealth of inspiration and opportunity. From the bustling studio lots to the glittering premieres, Dow was exposed to every facet of the entertainment world. This early exposure not only fueled his ambition but also provided him with invaluable insights into the inner workings of the industry. As he navigated his way through auditions and casting calls, Dow drew upon the lessons learned from his upbringing, honing his craft and sharpening his skills as a performer. His early forays into acting saw him land roles in a myriad of television shows and commercials, where he quickly made a name for himself as a versatile and reliable performer. Whether he was delivering lines with conviction or emoting with sincerity, Dow demonstrated maturity and depth beyond his years, earning him accolades and opportunities that belied his age. Tony Dow's pivotal moment came in 1957 when, at the tender age of 12, he was cast as Wally Cleaver in the iconic TV series Leave It to Beaver. This role would forever change the trajectory of his career, catapulting him into the spotlight and solidifying his place in television history. As Wally Cleaver, the quintessential all-American teenager, Dow endeared himself to audiences with his affable charm and boy-next-door appeal. Tony Dow's tenure as Wally Cleaver on Leave It to Beaver spanned the show's entire six-season run, from its debut in 1957 until its conclusion in 1963. During this time, Dow's portrayal of Wally endeared him to audiences around the world, solidifying his status as a beloved television icon. As the quintessential big brother, Wally Cleaver embodied the values of integrity, responsibility, and loyalty resonating with viewers of all ages who tuned in week after week to follow the adventures of the Cleaver family. Following the conclusion of Leave It to Beaver, Dow embarked on a new chapter in his career, transitioning from in front of the camera to behind the scenes. With a keen eye for storytelling and a passion for the craft of filmmaking, Dow found success as a director and producer, lending his talents to a variety of television shows and films. Working tirelessly behind the camera, Dow honed his skills as a storyteller, bringing his unique vision and perspective to projects both big and small. Despite his success behind the camera, Dow's love for acting never waned, and in the 1970s and 1980s, he returned to his roots, gracing television screens once again with his presence. During this time, Dow appeared in a variety of TV shows, including Adam 12, Love American Style, and Knight Rider showcasing his versatility as an actor and reaffirming his status as a fan favorite. In addition to his work in television, Dow also pursued a career in sculpture, channeling his artistic talents into a new and exciting medium. Drawing inspiration from his experiences in Hollywood and beyond, Dow's sculptures captured the essence of the human experience, exploring themes of love, loss, and redemption with depth and nuance. His unique blend of form and emotion garnered him critical acclaim and recognition within the art world, further cementing his status as a multi-talented artist. Throughout his career, Tony Dow has defied expectations and embraced new challenges with enthusiasm and grace. From his humble beginnings as a child actor to his success as a director, producer, and sculptor, Dow's journey is a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. And while his accomplishments may span a wide range of mediums and disciplines, one thing remains constant. Tony Dow's enduring legacy as a true renaissance man of the entertainment industry. Tony Dow's personal life has been marked by both triumphs and challenges, each contributing to the rich tapestry of his experiences. In 1980, Dow entered into a lifelong partnership with his wife, 
Lauren Schulkind, forging a bond that has endured the test of time. Their union is a testament to love, commitment, and mutual respect, providing a solid foundation upon which they have built their lives together. From previous marriages, Dao is a proud father of four children, each a testament to the various chapters of his life and the relationships that have shaped him as a person. As a father, Dao has undoubtedly experienced the joys and challenges of parenthood, navigating the complexities of family dynamics with grace and compassion. These tragedies destroyed Tony Dao before trying to hide the secret. Amid the joys of family life, Dao also faced personal struggles, particularly during the tumultuous decades of the 1970s and 1980s. Battling with depression and grappling with financial difficulties, Dao found himself confronting demons that threatened to consume him. The pressures of fame, combined with the demands of an ever-changing industry, took their toll on Dao, testing his resilience and pushing him to the brink. However, in the face of adversity, Dao refused to be defeated. Drawing upon his inner strength and the support of loved ones, he embarked on a journey of self-discovery and healing, determined to overcome the obstacles that stood in his way. Through therapy, introspection, and unwavering determination, Dao confronted his demons head-on, emerging from the darkness with a newfound sense of purpose and clarity. Tony Dao tried to hide this secret, almost six years after Leave It to Beaver ended. Dao started getting afflicted with clinical depression, although he was unaware at the time. The feeling engulfed him slowly, and he became irritable and grumpy. He also became more irritable and developed a poor attitude towards things. Sadly things got worse one day when he could not get out of bed, go to work, or do anything. The self-absorbed feeling of worthlessness and hopelessness left him paralyzed, and the more he thought about it, the worse it got. The actor subsequently went to the hospital, where he was diagnosed with clinical depression, the child actor syndrome. Dao was getting recognized for something he did as a 12-year-old, and his projects afterward did not receive the same recognition. The passing of Tony Dao, known for his iconic role as Wally Cleaver in the classic television series Leave It to Beaver, was undoubtedly a moment of profound sadness for many. His death, surrounded by a swirl of confusion and misinformation, added a layer of tragedy to an already somber event. In May 2022, Dao's world was shaken by a devastating diagnosis, liver cancer. This news sent shockwaves through not only his devoted fanbase but also the entertainment industry at large. Dao, who had been a beloved figure in television history, was now facing the toughest battle of his life. As the world grappled with this news, the situation took a bewildering turn. On July 26, 2022, reports began circulating that Tony Dao had passed away. The premature announcement spread rapidly, catching many off guard and leading to an outpouring of tributes and condolences across social media platforms. However, amidst this confusion, the truth soon emerged. Dao was still fighting, his battle with cancer continuing. Tragically, the following day, July 27, 2022, Tony Dao succumbed to his illness, leaving behind a legacy that spanned generations. His portrayal of the affable Wally Cleaver had endeared him to audiences worldwide, and his talents as both an actor and a director had left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. In the aftermath of his passing, reflections on Dao's life and career abound. From his early days as a child actor to his later endeavors behind the camera, he was remembered not only for his talent but also for his warmth, humility, and dedication to his craft. His loss was deeply felt by those who had known him personally and by the countless fans who had grown up watching him on screen. The confusion surrounding the timing of Tony Dow's death serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of fame in the digital age. In an instant, misinformation can spread like wildfire, shaping the narrative in ways that are often beyond our control. Yet, amidst the chaos, one thing remains clear. Tony Dow's legacy will endure his contributions to the world of entertainment cherished for generations to come.